our city is one where brilliance gathers and where innovation happens every day. There's untapped potential for economic growth and creating real and meaningful change in people's lives around the world. By supporting advancements in life science and medical devices here in London, we can transform that potential into a brighter reality. To continue to build on London's existing life science infrastructure, Tech Alliance brought together FedDev Ontario, the London Medical Network, and a number of community partners to create Burst, an incredible opportunity for 30 emerging medical technology startups. Each of the participating Burst companies received a vital investment of $70,000 from FedDev and the London Medical Network, as well as crucial mentoring and professional development focused on four key pillars, market validation, company structure, intellectual property, and investor readiness. Let's take a look at our successes. I'm uh, Sergio Aguirre, co-founder of Epineuron Technologies, and we're a company focusing on developing the first treatment for peripheral nerve injuries. It's a medical device, essentially, that we're developing that's used uh, typically by plastic surgeons or orthopedic surgeons at the time of surgery to repair the injured nerve. Uh, I think there's a, there's a tremendous opportunity to build a core group of expertise around this because London has a lot of research and a lot of uh, essentially healthcare uh, in, in such a localized area. As soon as we engaged uh, with the mentors in the program, uh, in the process of meeting other new companies in other geographies, uh, I've facilitated introductions myself just because I, I found so much value in the people I met through the BURST program. My name is Asha Parekh. I am the CEO and a co-founder of Frontline Medical Technologies. We are an early stage medical device business that has developed a family of products surrounding um, stopping internal bleeding in emergency trauma situations. So the BURST program was help really helpful to us. Uh, we were able to essentially start our business earlier. We, I think we would have gone down this same route, but it kind of helped to jumpstart um, things and get us going a little bit earlier than we had anticipated. I'm Dr. Theo Versteeg, I'm the CEO of Topspin Technologies. We've developed a method of dynamic neuromuscular strength training of the neck to help decrease concussion risk. The big thing that, they, that Burst helped us do is kind of transition to help increase our valuation before we needed to get funds uh, to go through a seed round of funding. So it, it helped us bridge that gap to a higher valuation before we approached investors. I think it's very good. I think uh, certainly when you look at uh, Southwestern Ontario as a whole, I think the life sciences and medical sciences I think that London is kind of front and center on where we're going and uh, certainly the direction that they're headed. Burst has helped the participating companies reach a level of success that could have taken years to accomplish. It is also ensuring that companies that start in London stay in London with the resources to grow and have a global impact. Working together, we're highlighting London, Canada as the place to be for life science entrepreneurship. But Burst isn't done yet. Tech Alliance, FedDev Ontario, the London Medical Network, and the City of London are pleased to support an additional BURST cohort next year, giving an essential boost to 10 more life science and medical device startups. We look forward to the successes that this new cohort will achieve and the continued growth of our first 30 BURST participants.